yesterday, Burundi. Okay. Uh, now that the president is back to, to Bujumbura uh, and that some plotters have been arrested, uh, he made an interesting uh, statement um, drawing a, a link or a connection between the plotters and, uh, and three weeks of demonstrations against his uh, possible third term. So uh, does, does the U.S. share this uh, analysis? And, and what's next for the, for the U.S. policy? Will you continue to press uh, for him to, to, to give up with his plan to, to run for a third term? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, there are a few, there are several issues uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, are part of your question. So first of all, we are, we, we are deeply concerned by the situation in Burundi. Um, uh, I said that yesterday, it holds today. We're concerned by the potential um, for further violence, uh, including some reports today of retaliatory violence following the attempted seizure of power um, yesterday. We strongly believe that the Arusha Accords must remain the foundation for Burundi's stability and, and for national reconciliation. And as we have, as we have stated um, on the question of a third term, the U.S. position is that President Nkurunziza, um, uh, in accordance with the, the Arusha Accords, uh, should not stand for a third term. Uh, in fact, the President's decision to announce his candidacy for a third term has and will continue to exacerbate instability uh, and uh, potentially foment violence uh, in the country. This threatens the viability of the Burundian government and it increases the risk of violence and insecurity that could threaten donor support. Um, as, as to the United States uh, message, we call on all parties to exercise restraint to refrain from any retaliatory action and violence, and this is especially important in the aftermath of the most recent uh, events. Uh, we think that any of those um, who plan in, who plan or participate in or order widespread or systematic discriminatory violence against the civilian population should know that the world is watching um, and uh, that they should be held accountable. So um, I've, I talked uh, earlier in the week about uh, the possibility of visa uh, restrictions from the United States side. Um, that, uh, that remains a possibility. And uh, I mentioned yesterday as well um, the, the the Burundian military uh, involvement uh, in violent events in Bujumbura and remind once again that under our Leahy law, the United States cannot provide U.S. military assistance to military units if we have credible information that they've been involved in gross violations of human rights. Um, you, sorry, quick thing. Had you previously said that it was the U.S. position that the president should not, that in accordance with the Arusha uh, Accords, should not run for, for a third term? Yes, um, we've we've said before that we that, that it was inconsistent with uh, with the letter and spirit of the uh, of the Arusha uh, Accords. So that's not a new statement, but I've, it was part of Nicolas' question. So yeah. I wanted to make sure it was clear. Anything else on Burundi? Does the, uh, yes. Does the uh, travel warning to U.S. citizens stand? The one that was issued overnight, saying basically get out. So uh, you saw our travel warning uh, that was issued uh, last night. Uh, for those who haven't, I'll simply uh, repeat that uh, our travel warning um, uh, warns U.S. citizens against all travel to Burundi. And uh, to those U.S. citizens who are in Burundi, we recommend that they depart as soon as it's feasible uh, to do so. That travel warning still stands, Roz, uh, to answer your, uh, the specific question. Um, I would also highlight that in our travel warning, uh, we, uh, we informed that the Department of State has ordered the departure of dependents of U.S. government personnel as well as non-emergency um, uh, U.S. government personnel from Burundi. Um, our embassy is closed today. We are able to offer limited emergency services to U.S. citizens. We are um, in touch with American citizens in the country, uh, including those who have an interest uh, in departing. Um, I don't have further details to share about those uh, conversations. Um, but uh, but we are certainly you know uh, in touch with American citizens and will remain so. Do you know whether the uh, ambassador or other embassy staff have been in touch with the president in Ziza since uh, his return? I don't have any contact with the president uh, to read out. Um, uh, so we're certainly uh, aware of the reports of his uh, of his return to, to Burundi, but I don't have contact with him to read out. And what would be uh, the uh, primary U.S. message? once contact is established, whether from here or 
or there in Jorumboba? Well, I think it would be very consistent with what uh, with with the several points I just laid out: uh, the importance of uh, respecting the Arusha Accords, um, the importance of uh, of uh, no retaliatory violence, um, the importance uh, of exercising restraint, um, and and so forth. Pam, did you have a question on the same topic? I did. Yes. Actually, um, several questions. First of all, you mentioned the embassy was closed today. It was closed yesterday for a holiday. Is is this part of that, or is it closed for a different reason today? And then let me answer that one quickly. The the reason for the closure today is because of the uh, the the situation uh, in the country, not not for a holiday. Okay. Go ahead. Um, also, um, what is your understanding? What is state's understanding of the situation on the ground at this point? Um, are, are you characterizing what occurred earlier in the week as a coup? Was it not a coup? Um, is it your understanding that um, – what are officials there telling you basically about the situation on the ground at this point? And then also um, a clarification with the Arusha uh, agreement uh, in that the president's first term involved being elected by parliament. Um, does that, in essence, give him the option to seek a third term since the agreement requires the terms to be um, by balloting and not by um, a parliamentary procedure? Uh, well, our position on the Arusha Accords is, as I just stated it, um, you know, our, our, our position is that uh, President Nkurunziza, uh, in, in, uh, you know, under the Arusha Accords, should not stand for a third term. Your uh, your question about the situation on the ground, uh, I think the description from yesterday still applies. The situation is very fluid. Um, I, I don't have a, uh, a sort of update to provide about uh, you know, situations on the ground, except to say that we're following them. They are changing rapidly. Um, so uh, that's uh, about as much as I can say uh, about that.